About a week ago, a man called Jack Murphy, uh, I don't know if that's his real name or if that's his internet name, I um, don't know why so many people choose a different name when they become media people. I'm Charlie Veach, I'm Charles Veach, it's my name. So Jack Murphy, forget whether it's his real name or not, Jack Murphy, he um, had a, a big manly beard, still does I'm sure. Big, big, masculine beard, you know, like, oh, whoa. Kind of beard that, you know, puts the fear of beard into rabbis, you know, proper big man beard. And um, never heard of him before this point. Never heard of a channel called The Quartering. Maybe, you know, because I flick through YouTube. It's my job, YouTube. I flick through. Maybe I've seen the channel The Quartering. These are big channels, very popular channels with millions of viewers, millions of subscribers. So he was sent, or let me try and get the washing machine out of shot. You don't need to see my kitchen. He was sent uh, links to videos. I don't know. Uh, and uh, Jack Murphy's uh, name in these videos was Big Bad Bear or Big Bearded Bear. Something to do with Big ba Bear, Bear Man Beard. I think a bear or a wolf, a bear is a, a name, a slang name in the gay community for big, hairy, strong men. Sometimes with big beards who... Uh, yeah, bears, I think. So, his channel, he did some uh, pornographer, pornographer with his wife. And uh, they were having sex on video. Not controversial. We've all seen this a million times. He's having sex with his girlfriend. He's talking dirty with his girlfriend. He's uh, inserting things uh, where the sun doesn't shine. Um, himself. Um, I've not watched the videos. I've seen the stills. He... Uh, he plugs something which uh, was maybe spilling diarrhea. He plugs it. Um, he talks about his uh, fondness for college boys and the things he would do to college boys. And again, it's quite a kinky, quite a dirty series of uh, statements and videos and insertions. And uh, this was all exposed. Someone paid for the videos or found the free video. I don't know if they were free. I think... Jack Murphy, in uh, trying to explain it, says that he was trying to make some money. So someone's paid for this uh, influencer in the Manosphere. Manosphere is like the name for the world of pickup artists, incels, men promoting masculinity. There's channels on Facebook, YouTube, the, the masculine renaissance, the art of being a man, how to make her love you by being a warrior and all this bullshit. Truth is, uh, is um, life is unfair. Um, life is a lottery, not just an intellectual lottery. It's a genetic lottery. Lottery. It's a geolocation lottery. You don't know where you're going to be born, where you're going to grow up, what school you're going to attend, how your parents are going to treat you, the educational opportunities you're going to have, the religion you're going to be indoctrinated into. You, you just don't know as a child. And uh, a beautiful statement Elon Musk made, um, I hope it's from him, because I, I forwarded it on Facebook without verifying it. I had an image of Elon Musk and it says, I chose to have my children. My children did not choose to be born. So I owe them. Let me try and get the sun properly there. There you go. Uh, so I owe my children everything and they owe me nothing. My children have already done everything they need to do by being, try and get the washing machine again out of the, out of the shop. My children have achieved everything just by being born. That's all I wanted. So this is the thing, like in the world of masculine promotion, in the world of PUAs, pickup artists, did any of you guys read that book called The Game by Neil Strauss? It was a purple cover with the game in red and it had this like cartoon of a, a shaved head guy, you know, a bald guy with a kind of um, black belt barrister style, fully shaved head. And he's like all suave and cool and he, he recounts his stories of getting phone numbers from like hundreds of beautiful women. And the whole thing is bullshit. Bullshit. I think Neil Strauss was uh, taking the piss a bit. Very clever guy. Goes in there and he was meeting characters such as mystery. Mystery. He'll teach you how to be a pickup artist. Now, how do I put this? Um, the world of pickup artistry or the manosphere of uh, masculine men going to teach you how to be a man and how to get women. It's a scam. It is a scam. It's uh, a scam onto... Incels. It's a way to harvest money from incels. Incels means involuntary celibate. Uh, young men or men who want to get more girls, who want to have more sex, who believe that if they pay $99 a month, 
then maybe they'll learn the secret. And this guy, Jack Murphy, who got exposed all over the internet, um, was offering his luminal course for $99 a month, $1,200 a year to learn how to be a man. So you've got this big macho Jack Murphy muscles, big beard, you know, big ass, like, you know, put fear into the fucking rabbi's kind of beard. Um, only because rabbis have big beards. I'm not making an anti-Semitic statement. I'm saying his beard was like the kind of beard that if he went, went into a synagogue, the, the, the kind of old rabbis would be like, mm, that's a good beard. <laughs> and um, uh, there's a lot to disentangle in this story. So the channel, the quartering, big channel, millions of viewers, millions of subs, he, he exposed this Jack Murphy guy, put his photographs of him inserting things on Twitter, on social media. It went crazy all over the forums of the internet. I'm not going to name the forums, any forum where you could post stuff, big forums. And um, he went on the offensive. Um, he instantly developed what he called a war room. And he started um, flagging and trying to get the Quartering's channel banned. Trying to get him banned off Twitter. And it worked to a certain extent. The Quartering, I think he's banned from posting on Twitter. Or he's not allowed certain channel features. And uh, the community guideline that he broke was posting private, intimate, maybe erotic photographs of someone without their explicit consent, it is uh, against community guidelines. And he did this. And, um, you know, the internet's gone wild. Even me, I, I don't get involved in YouTube drama. I don't get too involved in any of the um, YouTuber drama that is close to me, you know, auditing Britain or, or many of the other uh, YouTubers that have a, an overlap with what I do. I try not to get too involved. Although I did, you know, again, let me just contradict myself as a hypocrite. I, uh, I got a lovely New Year's message from Marty Blackborough, the YouTuber. I wrote back to him. And then I saw another video that had... Um, let me try and get the sun properly here. I saw another video um, that someone had paid, placed Live Free. He's a YouTuber. Live Free. Chris Galoni, I think his name is. Chris. Chris Live Free wears a mask. Likes his mask. And uh, Live Free was um, sentenced to some time in jail for something... Um, I think um, malicious community. This is how cucked we are as a nation in Britain. Um, just to give you an example. Um, yeah, many years ago, my friend Rupert uh, spent nine months in Wandsworth Prison. Sorry, four and a half months. He got sentenced to nine months in prison. Spent four and a half months in Wandsworth Prison. I went to visit him. And the same time that my friend Rupert got thrown in jail um, for four and a half months. And do you know what he did? He got in an argument drunk on Facebook with some people making fun of him, and he said that he was going to, yeah, he, he made some threats, drunken threats, that he regrets now. But this is an American guy who comes from the land of free speech. I think in America, certain threats are also illegal, but I don't think you'd get a custodial sentence for writing drunk to someone. So, where was I going with this? Where the fuck was I going with this? So, I don't get too involved in a YouTuber drama, but so Live Free got released from jail. Uh, he did malicious communication. Um, and get this, why are men, you know, men getting thrown in jail? Sorry, human beings getting thrown in jail. I saw stories uh, 10 years ago when my friend Rupert was incarcerated. There was someone at Cambridge University. Uh, this person stabbed her boyfriend. Stabbed him with a knife. He had to go to hospital. And um, she got community service and a slap on the wrist. And the, the judge said, Err, I cannot take away your massive opportunity studying medicine at Cambridge. And she's like, thanks, thanks there, judge. But if he was some like fucking Salford guy, got in an argument with his girlfriend, ended up stabbing her a couple of times, do my viewers think that the judge would be like, well... You've got a job, you, you work in highway maintenance, you didn't mean to stab your girlfriend. I'll let you off with community service. Nah. Some rules for some, some rules for others. God, massive tangent. So, coming back to, you know, the quartering then exposing this Jack Murphy, his, his images in the most compromising positions. No man wants to be exposed putting pluggies to where the sun don't shine 
And like, you know, I'm not here to judge a man's sexual fetishes. From what I could tell, it all looked quite wholesome. He was doing it with his wife. And yeah, they were talking dirty, but aren't we all grown-ups? My criticism of Jack Murphy isn't so much that he did pornographer with his wife. My criticism is uh, his reaction, going on this war room, trying to get the guy banned. You know, this is the Charlie Veach YouTuber. I'm a, a media veteran. I've been on this... Uh, I've been humping the YouTube dream now for... 12 years, on and off. I've had jobs and done other things and, you know, had like a three years where I didn't post, but, you know, on and off for 12 years. And I'll tell you, if I myself, Charlie Veach, got exposed, if I did a video with someone and I was putting things in my... and um, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and someone found them and I didn't... Uh, you, all you, could, you got, you have to double down. You have to go on YouTube and say, yep, that's me. I did some kinky stuff. I did it. I was in a tough place financially a couple of years ago. Do I regret it? Maybe I regret it. And um, so, but he, he tried to get people banned. He disappeared. He shut down his Twitter account. So the moral of the story is, you know, keep your videos private. And the, the, the second thing I'm trying to disentangle here is the amount of young men who pay money to these grifters, and I've got to be very careful here because I'm a bit of a grifter. I want people to watch my videos. I earn a living from people watching my videos. So I try to make them interesting and in a way I'm grifting. But I'm not promising young men who don't have sex a sudden upsurge in their masculinity and their chances with women if they pay me $100 a month. That's just silly. That's just wrong. So I don't know what the answer is. I think we're all looking for guidance. We're all looking for our own personal Morpheus. You know, whether it's our priest, our rabbi, our bloody, you know, imam. Um, whether it's uh, the gang leader in the local gang we're in. We're all looking for that Morpheus to come and take us on the hero's journey. But I'm going to wrap this video up by telling all my viewers that no one is coming to help you. It's entirely up to you and the things that you do for yourself, for your family, for your friends, for your community. There is no wise Obi-Wan Kenobi going to come and take your Luke Skywalker. There is no Morpheus that is going to use the Nebuchadnezzar uh, to come and rescue you from your shitty office job. You've got to do it yourself. So... Jack Murphy has bitten the dust. I don't know how he's going to recover because it's not so much that he got caught doing kinky stuff. We're all kinky. It's the way he reacted. So on that note, guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.